the cell prepares for meiosis just as it does for mitosis. But as the DNA condenses, each chromosome finds its homologous counterpart. These matching pairs of chromosomes hold equivalent genetic information, one set from mother and one from father. Next comes the first shuffle of nature's genetic deck. The two homologues trade genes in a process called crossing over. This forms new hybrid chromosomes. The spindles then place maternal and paternal chromosomes randomly on each side of midline. It is another shuffle that can lead to a host of different genetic outcomes. Finally, spindle fibers pull the homologs apart. This leaves the sister chromatids intact. With twice the amount of genetic information the cells will need, nature must cut the genetic deck in two. The second division produces four unique sets of chromosomes. Because they carry half the genetic information, we call these haploid cells. Many of them will mature into sperm and eggs, the reproductive cells called gametes.